popular in Mexico yeah. and in Latin America. And it seems to me like UFC is not paying that much attention to, to those markets. Mm. Do you think uh, combat is going to be uh, uh, even bigger than UFC in the future? I, I think, actually, combat is bigger than the UFC now. Our TV ratings on uh, Azteca Sete are three million a week. So we're beating the UFC in ratings right now. Uh, last Friday, in an interview, Dana White, the president of the UFC, said they're focused on China and Russia. I don't want to go to China. I don't want to go to Russia. I love Mexico. So for Combate, the US and Mexico are our two main places. I don't care about China. I don't care about Russia. I care about Mexico and the US. So I think we're going to have great success in Mexico and in South America. How important was that uh, to have a, a partner, a TV partner like Azteca for you guys? Uh, I cannot say in any language how important it is to have Azteca because they, they, they're in a fight. They're in a fight with Televisa mm -hmm. and the UFC is on Televisa. So for Azteca, this is a championship match. They want to beat Televisa and I want to beat the UFC. So so they are the perfect partner for us. You have a lot of experience in doing fights, MMA, UFC. Um, what what personally interests you more in the Hispanic market, especially in Mexico? That's a that's a great question. I think I think some cultures have a great tradition of fighting. If you look at the Irish and Conor McGregor and the UFC, the Irish have been great boxers and they have a great fighting tradition. No. Where is there a bigger and better fighting tradition than Mexico? There just isn't. And if you think about the style of Mexican boxing, it's all about heart. And that, to me, is what was missing in MMA to a great extent. So I think adding this, and MMA is an exciting new sport with a lot of variables. Anything can happen. And if you put in heart plus all that excitement, I think we've got something really great. Is maybe better than the original UFC, you know? And it's uh, certainly if you watch the fights on Combate, you'll see what I'm talking about. What about uh, your plans uh, posting more fights in Mexico? Uh, are you going to do more in 2017? Oh, of course. We go to Mexico uh, March 30th. We'll be in Tijuana. Okay. Uh, we're going to be in Mexico at least two more times this year after that. I don't know. I think next we want to go to Colombia. Mm -hmm. I think that's the next spot. We haven't figured that out yet, but I would say that's next. Well, why Colombia? There's a great uh, MMA scene there. People are very knowledgeable. Um, the women are really beautiful. You know, I've, I've been warned to be careful that I don't hurt my neck spinning around looking at all the beautiful women. Um, I think it's uh, a very dynamic economy. Uh, Colombians have uh, really increased their economy, They've increased what they're doing. Of course, there's a peace pact that I think is going to greatly help the country. It seems like a very exciting time in Colombia. Come on, uh, finally, what will you change in MMA these days? Like, what, what, what do, do you want to see more? Your questions are really good. <laughs> Um, um, a lot. Uh, there's a lot of things I would change, mm -hmm. but I might start with. Uh, I think we need to look at the weigh-in process for MMA. We're finishing a weigh-in here, and weigh-ins really come from boxing. You know, they really do. And I'm not sure it's appropriate for MMA fighters to go through the same process as boxing. I think we could change this. I think it would make it safer for the fighters. I think I would let them rehydrate more early, more quickly. Um, I think that that's one thing. In the U.S., the insurance for fighters is too low. You, at the fight, uh, at the press conference or at the weigh-in here today, I said I have doubled our insurance coverage. I think we should protect the fighters, and I think that we should think about how we do weigh-ins. That may be too technical an answer, maybe it's too serious an answer, but that's what I think. Okay, just to clarify then, for tomorrow it's 2000 for every fighter that finishes the, the fight. Finish a fight, I hand you an envelope with $2,000 in cash. Excellent. Or pesos, your okay. choice. Dollars, pesos. <laughs> Dollar, they, I probably want I think dollars. I probably want dollars right now. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, my pleasure. Great Thank questions. You. Thank you. I, I want to ask you, you, you spoke on... I'm Isaac Fernandez. Oh, very nice to, to meet you. Again. I'm glad to have you. Yeah, we'll see you again. Tomorrow. Thank you. You spoke about how... 
how you're, you're looking to Mexico because they have a, a fighting tradition in the country. Uh, and then you also spoke at the beginning of the of the weigh-ins about how you're paying two thousand dollars for finishes and stuff like that. Does that make it easier for you to produce kind of high knockout rates, high finish rates, being that you have a culture of people that you're getting fighters from that have that fighting spirit that want to finish fights and they don't have this kind of you know just I want to win on points mentality. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. And I think that what do you want me to do to you or to the camera? Uh, either way, whatever you feel comfortable. With. Um, you know, we give bonuses just so the fighters feel that we want them to go out there and do their best and close up the business. You know, that's why we give the bonuses. It's like don't win, don't leave it to the judges. Go make this happen. So I think it makes for a more aggressive style fighter. I think most of the guys we pick are coming to Combate to close the deal anyway. I, it wasn't like I said I'll give you $2,000 cash bonus and they went, oh, okay, then I'll close the fight. They were all coming to do it anyway. And now there's just a little more incentive. You know, and paying fighters more is okay too. As the promotion grows, we're going to, we keep raising our pay scale too. Speak a little about the, you were saying how you doubled the insurance for each fighter uh, fighting tomorrow. Uh, speak a little more about that. You said a, a fighter was injured in another organization uh, some time back, and then this is why you took this extra precaution. Yeah, so uh, not to beat up on another organization, but the facts are the facts. Titan uh, Fighting had a fighter injured the same way Anderson uh, uh, was injured when he did that low Muay Thai kick and shattered his leg. And it was a $60,000 medical bill. And the fighter's insurance was $20,000. So he was left with a $40,000 gap. So we went down and we gave him some cash. And, you know, because I think that's bad for business. It's bad for everybody, right? And if you have men and women fight for entertainment and they get hurt, I believe you have a moral obligation to take care of them. And that's not just talk. We, Paulina Grenados had pretty, you know, extensive surgery when she had a suborbital fracture. We took care of it. We made sure she was okay. We went beyond. And I think that's just something everybody should do. If we want the sport to grow, keep bringing in new fans, uh, keep bringing in top level athletes, we gotta make sure those men and women are taken care of. So we did, we doubled the minimum. And California has the highest minimum except for New York, so we doubled. That's great. I mean, that's great news. Just obviously, as a as a fighter, they, they feel comforted with that, and, and obviously as a fan, it's great to see you uh, you taking that approach. Uh, you said you were moving into Colombia at some point this year. That's Possibly our next country. No, that's the next country we'll go to after Mexico. Uh, I don't know if we'll get there this year. Things are going really well. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're going really well. So we'll see. I like Mexico. Uh, we've got a few cities that we haven't been to Texas yet. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, in some ways, Texas is a separate country. Yeah. You know, it's, a, <laughs> it's it's different than Texas. So I'd like to get to Texas. Yeah. Right. We've got some plans to do that. So we'll see how that goes. I do. We we are looking at Colombia. I think it'd be a great place to do it. Just a, a, out of curiosity, how do you when you pick a country like that? How do you enter that market? Is it like looking at local? Like, do you send like a team out there just to look at local? We've already had our teams. Our, our guys are already down there scouting it. We've met with a few promoters. Uh, we're actively looking at who we partner with down there. Uh, my business philosophy is always set up the TV side first, because if you're not on TV, you know, a local promoter, right? And so uh, uh, we haven't finished the TV deal there. Obviously ESPN does reach Columbia, but I like to go into the main TV network and finish that deal there. So we know when we go there that we are on TV there. Let's talk about tomorrow's event. Just on paper, when you're looking at the, the fight the fight card, which one are you like, that's the one? Like if, if fighters, you know, if, if fans that don't know about this one, this is the one. Um, anything with Froggy is fun. <laughs> because fighting Froggy is like fighting a pickup truck. Because it's like he gets in his truck and he just runs over his opponent. He just runs them over. So anything with Froggy is great. I think with uh, Ghost Pepper, uh, I think that's a matchup to see for sure. Uh, they're, they're all good, you know, and I'm giving cash bonuses in an envelope. So I think it's going to be a great night. How great was that, the, the exchange between uh, Ghost Pepper and... It's perfect. Uh, right? <laughs> it's perfect. You know what? That shows the guys. They have a sense of humor. They're thinking about how to get inside their opponent's head. And, you know, 
They're joking, but they're not. Right, yeah. They were both ready, too. They both had something. Yeah, they, they're both they're, yeah. ready to jump back in. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a real good matchup. Definitely. Thank you so much for the time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank yeah, you I know so it's going to be fun. Appreciate it. What's up?